We're here in the 40 mile desert. Why would anyone come to such a godforsaken place far away from the world? Fortune and glory. Fortune and glory. Hello there. It's 5 a.m. Why would I be up at this godly hour? Well, for adventure, something. First of all, Harmony has a map from 1861 that points to a bandit cave known as the Oro Cave. Oro's cave is known to have a jewel in it that was hidden. It was uh, stolen from a king uh, that was visiting the Americas. And, uh, Anyway, Harmony has called me to go and help her find the Cave of Oro. And hopefully we find the tooth. But it's too damn early right now. The mashup town of Oregon. You just get these great expansive shots, you know. Out in, out in these places. We're gonna walk 40 miles right now. If God wanted us to walk 40 miles in the desert, he wouldn't have vented Teslas. Okay? I'm here on a piece of forgotten land in the 40 mile desert. We were out here looking for obsidian crops. All along here, there's all kinds of organic coal that has made a shelf all along this ridge here. And so we're looking for specialized minerals and as always, gold. All right, this spot that we're standing, this area would have been built up so that they could load the train. Or wagons that come through. It's a loading dock. It's a, like a loading area, yeah. Okay. Because it, because. So we're because we are at Oriana train station. Yeah. The train station. So you see down here, you can see that, that, that metal over there by the train tracks. Oh yeah. That was the Oriana train station. So, yeah. So uh, if the train station is there, then this would have been like where they would load up coal or things like that. Okay. And uh, this was a smelter over here. So what we're going to do also is we're going to go across the road over oh, there. Okay, yeah, so if the Oriana, mine is there, then they would have taken all of their Oriana minerals and resources so and we're gonna do here, put it onto the train that way. Oh, that's fossil. I yeah. thought so. Yeah, that's fossil right there. And it. And then in the middle part, will you grab me a water? It's green and one side is white. It's crazy, huh? Isn't this whole place weird? All right, Harmony, why are we out here in the middle of the desert? Fortune and glory, kid. Fortune and glory. I'm here in the 40 mile desert, far away from anything worth having. We're out here looking for a very rare mineral. And I think we have a good shot at finding it. Take a look at this. We found the mouth of the cave. But only one of us was going to go inside. Harmony is afraid of snakes. And I'm Professor Presley. I'm a total badass. I go down in caves and shit. Like a total badass. This is this way, there's nowhere for the water to go.
Good to see you. It's good to see you. So Harmony's map worked? It did. It was accurate. So were you, was it accurate? Yeah. It was a map from 1861, and we were able to find the Cave of Oro. So were you able to find? Yeah. Really? Can I see it? There it is. The Tooth of Oro. Right? So cool. A lot of people don't even know it existed, but now we have it. It's a gem that looks like a plain old rock. But it's also, that's the Tooth of Oro. The museum will pay heavily for this. That's awesome. It's just good to get an artifact back where it belongs. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, I was down in a mine shaft. We had to swing over some underground rivers. There were rabbit squirrels. I would have loved to be there to see that. It would have been awesome. Yeah, but uh, you couldn't have been there to see it. Why? There were scorpions. Ooh, yeah. <laughs>